All right, here's a quick little video on this upgrade I'm doing here. I found these injectors online. They're for a Holly X-Flow. I think it's still a sniper. Yeah, X-Flow sniper, 800 horsepower. And they're basically 120 pound injectors, which the injectors that come with the Holly 650 are only 100 pounds. And I've got the fuel pressure all jacked up and it's having a hard time learning correctly now because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and slap these in there and then adjust the parameters on the laptop and we'll see how it runs. Here is the part number for the injectors for those of you wondering. You need four of them. Alright so I'm about 30 seconds in. I undid my return line and took out two little 3 16 headed allen screws and as you can see this is what the inside looks like the outside of the holly sniper is actually a fuel rail so i'm basically just going to pop those out like any normal car and then put oil on the o-rings and put it back together this is what it looks like with the injectors pulled out just a heads up i did punch myself in the face pulling those out it took uh quite a bit I ended up using a vice grip and just carefully kind of held on to the little edge there, but there's probably better ways to do that. It's just very tight. All right, now that the injectors are installed, you're going to want to come in here to your little sniper pad. Make sure that the factory SD card is installed. You cannot use any SD card because apparently there's different types of SD cards. It's like a SD, HD, X, SD, XD, I don't know the uh, full amount of different ones. But in a camera, they work the same. On this, they do not work the same. And there's also files that you need on that card for it to work correctly. But you're going to want to basically go to File once you have the car running right. If you don't have the car running, you could... You don't really need to do this step, but I'm doing it for mine because my car runs right. And you're going to want to hit download from ECU. And then save GCF as. And then backspace all that is what I like to do. Keypad's kind of touchy. And then just put in something random. I just put in a bunch of spam. And, uh. That way I know which one it is. And it'll actually put that onto the SD card. And you can see there's my different tunes that I already had. This is basically going to save all the learning that the computer has done. Then shut it off. Push it in to take the SD card out. And I'm going to come over here to the computer. And you're going to want to have... The Holly Sniper software downloaded. Holly's website shows you how to do it. It's pretty easy. You just have to have a decent laptop or computer. And uh, you can download the software. You can see the correct type of SD card is a SDHC. Um, I tried different SD cards and none of them worked. It was kind of weird. So I ended up having to go to a website and buy one because I lost mine. And basically I'm going to click on Holly Sniper. And then I'm going to open configuration file. You've got to go here. And then you have to go down to the SD card. And then to Holly, then to 101, if you've got a newer version, try both in case that doesn't work. And then saved GCF, OK. You can see my spam file right here. Click that, double click that, and it'll load. And now you can see my tune. This is my base fuel. And you can go in here, and I actually mess with the fuel pressure, so I'm hoping to see that the learn table has learned something. And you can see it has learned something down low. 
it's more than 5% off. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But it's like 6 6% 6 off. So one thing I like to do before I download my tunes back on is I like to hit transfer learning to base. And yes, and you can see it zeroed all that out. What that just did is changed my base fuel volumetric efficiency table to make it run better. And you can see right here, my peak volumetric efficiency is right here. That's gonna be about your peak torque. So with this cam, the X303 cam, I'm making peak torque right in the mid 4000s of RPM range. And then you're going to want to go over here to system EFI parameters and then sorry I haven't actually done this yet but you can see it's at 100 pound per hour per injectors and then the total system flow is 400 pounds per hour uh, the Holly stock comes with 58 PSI on the rated injector pressure. I raised mine to 60 PSI just to make it more simple because that's what my fuel regulator is set at. But now that we've had the new injectors from the X-Flow, I'm going to go ahead and put in 120. And then you can see my fuel flow total went up to about 480, or actually exactly 480. And then all I have to do now is save this but before I do that I wanted to show what my timing graph looks like for any of those of you curious got about 18 degrees of timing into this motor at uh, 11 pounds of boost and it seems happy with that and then at idle it's about 17 runs pretty good I tried adding in some more timing down low and the uh, like 1500 rpm range and it didn't really like that didn't really change anything so i just put it back and then you can set your rev limiters i've got my two-step hooked up to input number two you can do that on the laptop too you can see how i set my launch rpm 2800 and uh yeah and also if you're trying to convert your regular sniper to a boosted sniper you do not need the super sniper you just need to go in here to the map scale and then raise that crap because from the factory it's only at like a hundred kpa which is uh basically atmosphere and you see i put mine up to 198 and then you also need to go over here to your uh this column and then hit them at 198 and you can also uh, fill column values which basically just smooths everything out you're gonna have to mess with it but yeah there's a lot of different options safety uh, parameters that you can set up to like pull timing out of it and stuff man manifold air temperature parameters all kinds of stuff but basically now I'm gonna go ahead and save this configuration file as and then I'm going to click my mild tune here. And then it's going to say, do you want to replace it? I say yes. And always have these tunes on your computer because I made a mistake when I lost my SD card. And I couldn't actually get those back. And then what I like to do is get out of here and then go back to... The same place I started, but this time click that one that I just saved. The mild tune. And then I'll go in here, and the way I can tell if it actually saved it is look at the learn table and see how it's still zero. That means that I actually saved it. And then also you can check your parameters. And it's still 480 pounds per hour total of fuel instead of 400. So we're good to go. And then you always want to go in 
and different computers are different, but I just right click and then hit eject SD card. So right click right here, eject. And then now the SD card can be pulled out. Go over here to the car. Stick that sucker back in. Turn the key. Sometimes this will flood it out, so it's a good idea to sometimes disconnect the fuel pump relay. And now I'm going to go into my file, configurations, and then mild tune. And then upload to ECU. And then you have to turn the key off. I usually do it for about five seconds. And then turn it back on. And you're done.